40 years after Solomon Malangu was hanged, his family continues to remember his legacy. Chief Lucas Malangu sat down for an interview with Sunday Times ahead of the commemoration of the 40th anniversary of the death of his brother Solomon Malangu's. Solomon Kalushi Malangu was convicted of murder and hanged in 1979. Saturday marks 40 years since Solomon Malangu was hanged, and every year his family commemorates his death by performing a ritual to invite his spirit and the Malangu ancestors over. The preparations start a week before. Welcome to his home in Mamelodi West, where his brother Lucas Malangu still lives, we find a potji on the fire with tlapla, the traditional porridge used to make traditional beer. We invite our ancestors a week before and let them know there's a celebration and they must send a message to Soli as he's the youngest, says Lucas. In our African culture, you can't invite people into your yard to celebrate with you before you let the ancestors know. We slaughter a goat, and then the modern celebration will happen afterwards. Dot Solomon was born on July 10, 1956, and was hanged on April 6, 1979. He was the second son of Martha Malangu who worked as a domestic worker. They lived in one of the typical four-room matchbox houses built in apartheid townships. Solomon left South Africa to be trained as an Mkanto Wesses soldier in Mozambique and Angola. He spent six months in a refugee camp near Zai Zai in Mozambique and then received military training in an ANC camp in Angola. On June 11, 1977 he returned to South Africa as a cadre, heavily armed, through Swaziland. Two days later Malangu and his companions, Mundi Johannes Motling and George Lucky Malangu, were confronted by police in Gotch Street, Johannesburg. Lucky Malangu managed to escape. In the ensuing gun battle two civilians were killed and two wounded. Solomon Malangu and Motling were arrested. Motling was found to be unfit to stand trial after his brutal police interrogation. Malangu was sentenced to death by hanging under the Terrorism Act. He was the youngest to be hanged. The apartheid system was waiting for the right age for him to die. They said 22 years is old enough. We have forgiven them because if we don't we won't get to live our lives. You can't mourn for the rest of your life. All we can do is celebrate his life as one of the protectors of this family, said Lucas. He said he saw the influence of his young brother's martyrdom in the renaming of Wit Senate House's Solomon Malangu House and the number Thieves Missed Fall Movement. Before we leave, we go to the fire to acknowledge our presence at the house. Lucas recites the clan praise Mwazani Mleni Yaka Sojoro to let us go.